Good morning. Welcome back to another episode, A Day in a Life with Me. I'm Jenna. Welcome to my channel. And today is a work day. So let's do our thing. I haven't vlogged in a while. So we're vlogging today, baby. <laughs> I'm nervous. You're making me shy. I haven't vlogged in a long time and it's too early for me to be having this type of energy right now. This may be my second cup. What's a coffee connoisseur called? You know how wine connoisseurs are called sommeliers? <laughs> sommeliers. What is a wine connoisseur called? Here's what I found from reference.com. The most common titles for wine experts are sommelier and wine connoisseur. Sommelier. I was saying it right. Sommelier. Guess how you spell it. Guess how you spell sommelier. S-O-M-M-E-L-I-E-R. You ask me, that's spelled sommelier. Moving on to more important things. Just kidding, nothing in my life is important. God, I miss vlogging. Are we, do we wanna work today or do we just wanna chit chat catch up? I love my job. I have the best job in the world. But to be successful at it, you gotta hustle every day. It's a very 24 hour, a day, seven days a week type job, but I love it because I get to work from home. I get to go on exciting, fun trips. So a typical day in my life, here we go. I wake up, I shower, I put my comfy robe on. I regret putting my comfy robe on because I don't want to take it off. I wish you could feel this cloud. Make my coffee, then it begins. I'm one of those people that cracks my eyes open and scrolls social media. So the first thing I do work-wise after my coffee or during my coffee is I scroll all social media. I make sure I post on every platform first thing in the morning. That way I get it out of the way and I don't have something that I'm gonna forget to do later on. So this takes me literally an hour and a half. I mean, we've got, all, I'm on all the platforms, okay? I'm on Instagram, gotta post to the main page, gotta post to the story, gotta open DMs, gotta respond to comments, okay? Then you gotta scroll, see what everybody else is up to, anything trending. There's a lot of research that's been, that you have to do um, in social media. You can't just like willy nilly it. You do have to stay on trend a bit. Um, so that's Instagram. Then I move over to Twitter. I, Twitter is interesting right now. There's a lot of new things happening on Twitter. Shout out Elon. Um, I'm posting my long form content on Twitter now. So my long OFTV videos, stuff like that. I'm posting them on Twitter. Make sure I post on Twitter, retweet, scroll, blah -de da -de da that takes a while. Then I pop on over to TikTok. Gotta scroll it, gotta post on it. Sometimes in the morning, I will go live on TikTok for an hour minimum. So this takes up my whole morning, you guys. I am in this robe looking like this for, for probably about two hours. That's life. And we haven't even touched on threads. Every time people get excited about a new platform, I'm like, oh, it's too much. I'm melting. No, threads is interesting. I've been enjoying it. And then of course my OFTV, I've got to shoot my vlogs. I got to see what everybody else is doing on OFTV. Bada bing, bada boom. So this is my morning and I love it though. I don't have to sit in traffic. I just sit right here like this. If somebody calls, decline. <laughs> morning situation complete. And then the sun's blasting. I've always, you just got to get sun on your face, get sun on your skin. This is so good for mental health to just at any point in the day when the sun is out, I always try to make sure to go out and get at least 10 minutes in it because your girl, your girl depressed. <laughs> Stop, I'm shy. I haven't used my camera vlog style this way in a while, so I'm like, I'm depressed. Sun fixes all of it. Still deal, no matter how great your life is, you can still deal with anxiety and depression and natural sunlight really combats that beautifully. So I try to make sure to get outside, get some sunshine. You know what I mean? Heal me, heal me. I'm healed. Let's get to work. Just as I head upstairs, I'm just going to ignore this. Someone else will clean that up. I don't know who it's going to be me. I'm going to have to clean it up, but I just tell myself like someone else will do it. <laughs> Welcome to my glam room. This is where I get ready. My little content room. It 
was an absolute dream of mine to achieve having a glam room. But I will have to say, it's quite unnecessary. I thought having this glam room was gonna be life-changing. My content was gonna be elevated. I was gonna be so much more inspired. But I have to say, it just is quite unnecessary. So if you're a girly watching this and it is your lifelong dream to have a glam room like it was mine, I'm here to tell you, it ain't all that. You don't need it. My workflow was perfectly fine without it. So if that helps you, it helps you. But anyways, I got it. So we're here, so let's go. Okay, okay. So on my work days, it is a marathon, not a sprint. So I take my time, baby. So regarding getting ready, I am doing the less is more. I feel like full faces of makeup just aren't the vibe for me and my skin. I love a natural look so much more these days. Me. I love the natural look these days, like less is more. No, it's gonna blend out. It's gonna blend out and you're not gonna notice. But when I do my makeup, I do like for my my natural skin to come through. So it's a very, very light layer situation. I'm so bad at these like get ready with me's because I, I physically cannot speak when I'm doing makeup. Like I'm not good at multitasking. And unfortunately, according to TikTok, um, TikTok has diagnosed me with autism. I have all the signs. <laughs> I'm not even being dramatic or funny. I swear to God, I have all of the signs of autism and talking while doing your makeup is one of them. Speaking of makeup, do not order things online. I thought this was full size and I paid like $23 for this. You can imagine the disappointment when it came into the mail. Still gonna use it, but okay. That's it for skin for me. You know what's funny? As I get ready, I have no idea what I'm getting ready for, zero. All I know is I've got to shoot and I got to work. So by the time I'm done with my makeup, like we'll figure it out. But all I know is every day I shoot something because there are so many platforms that I'm on. So I literally just like a zombie, just do it, get through it, put it on your face. But there are some days where I don't do glam at all because um, getting ready every day, it like wreaks havoc on your skin by the way too. So I don't get ready every single day, but when I do, no idea what I'm shooting. We'll figure it out together. Okay, this is the final look. Very simple. I'm in my less is more era. Um, I never put heat on my hair, never blow dry my hair. It always air dries. And I have decided right now is TikTok time. So I am, again, less is more, casual, comfy, normal. That's what I'm wearing. Let's go. If you've seen my other videos, you know this is the best phone stand of all time. So this is what we're using. I am gonna do all my TikToks and then I am also gonna be going live. So I will see you when I'm done. <laughs> for me to edit and organize everything that I just shot. I cannot express again how much I love working from home. I get to do this from my bed. I literally don't have an office because I don't want one. Why would I sit at a desk when I can do it from here? Also, a lot of people prefer working on desktop, but I'm so used to working via mobile that I just prefer working via mobile. So of course I get sidetracked, you know what I mean? Like I will end up on like Sister Wives Instagram account eventually, but for now <laughs> I edit, organize, upload, all of that good stuff. And I really take my time with it. Again, marathon, not a sprint. Puppy break. He's so shy. He's my shy little boy. I always feel like I should have named Benny Eeyore because he has Eeyore's personality. Isn't he bashful? Isn't he mommy's bashful angel? Can't even look at mommy. Oh, he can't even look at me. Oh, he, she, he knows the camera's on him. Oh, okay, goodbye. I guess my puppy break is over. Benny, why do you have this personality? Why is this your personality, Benny? So shy. That's it, it's not focusing. Immediately, immediately I need a new camera. This is my favorite camera I've ever owned. Definitely get your hands on one. Next up, since I went for the cozy, casual, comfortable look today, we're gonna stick on theme with just the casual content. 
We're not shooting anything main page or anything super intricate. So what I'm going to do now, which I do almost every day, is do my live streams. So what you need for your live stream is multiple devices to go live on all of your platforms. This is one of my favorite devices. If my phone is dying, um, the charger port can just go right there. I usually almost always sit down while I live stream because I stream for so long, standing gets quite exhausting. So we'll start my live stream like this. I'll prop this phone up here and then I will prop my third device up here. So this one stand can hold all of my devices as it's literally not holding it. So sneak peek behind my lives. This is my setup. Live streaming this way just ensures that you're spending your time wisely, right? Like instead of going live one-on-one, -on -one, I go live all at once. And this way you can engage with all of your fans, all of your followers, all of your supporters on every platform just at the same time. So this is the way that I live stream. I usually don't live stream on one platform at a time. I do it all at once. And I will literally sit here for probably about two hours. So. I am gonna get started and hang out with my fans. See you in a bit. Oh, as you can see, there are endless things that you can do. You could literally work all day. It is getting quite late here, so I am going to say that's a wrap for the day. It's crazy. Engaging with people and engaging with fans can be like tiring and exhausting because you have to be on. So even though I wasn't like physically running around today, your brain gets a little tired. That's a wrap for me today. I am going to cook some dinner, hang out with my dogs, watch. Nothing good has been on. Pre-COVID, movies popping. Post-COVID, what's going on? Where are the good movies, shows, documentaries? I am literally watching Planet Earth that night. And I mean, that's as, it's, doesn't get better than that, I'll tell you. But like, what else? What else is there? All right, I'm gonna cook some dinner and just turn my brain off for the night. Love you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.